me get this straight. Alec, the lobbying group for Israel, has decided they're going to go after not one, not four, but seven women of color who spoke out against what is happening in Israel. They got a hundred million dollars, a hundred million dollars to go against these women to get incumbents to run against them, to try to take their seats in Congress because they don't like what these women who represent America, not Israel, have spoken out about what they're doing to Palestinians in Israel. Think about that for a second. Oh, you need our help. You need our money. You need our $3 billion. I don't give a fuck if we got a, uh, if we've got a base in Israel or not. You've now decided to step hip deep into our politics, hip deep and undermine seven people of color. And you think that shit's going to fly? Oh, no, 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 sweetie. I don't care if we got to gather every penny possible of people of color in this country to support these, these, these group, the squad. I'm going to go after eliminating the squad. No, Israel, you need to be eliminating Netanyahu's ass. See, we, we need to, we need to bring you up to speed a little bit, boo boo. Check this out. This woman who is the, American ambassador to the UN decided to kiss your ass. This woman decided to toe the fucking line. Yeah, this woman decided to vote against a ceasefire or a pause five goddamn times. Has the blood of babies on her hands. Has the blood of the elderly on her hands. Has the blood of those who were in those hospitals that you raised. And the areas where you fucking carpet bomb. Because apparently, you have a lousy aim. Your intelligence organization couldn't find the members of Hamas that you claim were just running roughshod. In Gaza, that open air concentration camp you have. She, I don't even know how the fuck she's sleeping at night, but she's towing the line. But see, everybody doesn't tow the line. Everybody doesn't let you get away with shit without calling you on your bullshit. You keep saying, they need to reject Hamas. You need to reject Netanyahu. How about that shit? Oh, we're in the middle of a war. We can't possibly change. Uh, I don't give a fuck. You wouldn't be there without half the bullshit that he's done. So when you call out Netanyahu, then and only then do you start talking about the Gazans need to get rid of Hamas. You need to get rid of Netanyahu. And about you going after those women in Congress, game on, motherfucker. Because we're going to get loud and proud. You chose the wrong people. You chose the wrong people to go after. You chose the wrong people to decide, well, we're just going to, um, we're going to run someone against them and take their seats. You know what? We're going to bet every single motherfucker that runs against them. And if they got any connection to Israel, we're going to be loud about it. This is Israel deciding they run this shit. This is Israel deciding they run our government. This is Israel deciding they run who is in office and who is not. Yeah. That 3.3 billion fucking dollars, like I said, needs to be cut. It needs to be put on fucking hold. Some serious ass strings need to be asked, need to be added to it. Because we've been watching your fucking lies over and over and over again. Remember? This is a tunnel. No, it's a fucking elevator shaft. This is a cache of weapons. No, it's fucking weapons that you put out there and filmed to put out there. This is a, a, a schedule of Hamas terrorists, when they can sleep and who's going to... No, it's a fucking hospital schedule. 
Yeah, I see. Um, CNN had to pull that bullshit back. Because it was a fucking lie. You are committing genocide. And I 100% support Ireland. Who wants you brought before the world court. Before the fucking Hague. Because it's about time Israel learns. While you're busy pissing all over people. It's America that's keeping Jordan from supporting the Palestinians. It's America paying the Egyptians not to support the Palestinians. We cut that shit out. Mm. I wonder how long you would stand because you've been pissing on neighboring countries for over 50 years. I guess you forgot which side your bread is buttered on. I think it's time you are reminded you need to be able to come up with a two-state solution or a one-state solution where those Palestinians are on equal footing with people from Israel. And a hell of a lot of your people seem to be coming from other countries. America, Europe, and claiming this is their homeland. Nah, fuck y'all. Fuck you, Israel. You are burning bridges that you cannot rebuild. And you don't seem to realize it. So maybe it's time someone told you what the fuck is going on. Because I hear you were also buying oil from ISIS back states. Yeah. We need to dig into that shit. How buddy-buddy were you with ISIS? To line your own damn pockets. To get what you need. Yeah. These are questions we really need to answer. Because to be honest. It's not the people. The people are not Hamas. And the people of Israel. Are not Netanyahu. It's time. For this shit to get straightened out. And that's not going to happen. So long as America is kissing ass. And though, again, those women of color that you're talking about running people against them, it's time we pull it together and put Israel in its fucking place. Mind your own damn business. Handle Netanyahu. And if you don't want us to have anything to say about Hamas, send the check back. Yeah, send the fucking money back. Refuse the goddamn money. If you that bold, Refuse the goddamn money. I'll wait and see if you do.